Right, hello there. It's Andy from Andy Robinson RC. And today we are at uh, Leith Sprung Landis uh, near Hambleton on the Fylde Coast. And uh, it's the Land Rover Series 2 Club. Uh, it's like a northwest area meet. So we've come down to uh, Leith Sprung Landis to have a, a bit of a nosy. So there's uh, quite a few vehicles here, so I'm gonna uh, have a bit of a walk around them. Starting with this one, which is right at the bottom of the uh, the uh, sort of like driveway almost. And this is a nice little late series uh, one. I think it's probably, a, let's have a look, be a 52, 53 series uh, one. I, owned, I think this is owned by Andrew Aspen actually. And uh, yeah, so this is all parked here at the, uh, at the back, so a nice little late 80 inch Land Rover. So I've known this vehicle for quite a quite a while, seeing this at a good few rallies and meets uh, the north, in the north of England. So yeah, a nice little late series one. Okay, so we'll uh, go up here, yeah, and a couple of these obviously aren't Land Rovers. Not everyone's coming in a Land Rover. There we go, and here we go, a, a 1960s series two which has been converted into a, uh, a mobile camper. And again, this is well known within the Series 2 club, especially again in the north. And uh, you get to see this at many, many events. Well, I think it's a, it's a cool looking thing and it makes a, a great uh, sort of a mobile camping vehicle. So yeah, a bag to carry to love it. Absolutely love it. I like all the little, uh, <laughs> all the little, uh, stickers on it and things that are being put on it's cool i like it so there you go i just got a <laughs> love in the back of it bags of character <laughs> hey, there you go. got another again series two now uh it's a quite smart smart thing it's got like i think some forward control rims on it as well a little truck cab and a three quarter tilt on. Or oh, cool. oh, a quarter tilt on, I should say. But yeah, it's a nice little play. This is a nice Series 2A. Oh, yeah, really cool. And uh, we've got some later machinery here as well. We've got a G4 Discovery as well from the G4 Challenge. So, I don't know if that's a genuine Challenge G4, it's a replica, but it's uh, cool to see. As well. So yeah, quite a varied uh, amount of vehicles here now. Again, we've got a Defender. I don't know if this is a 110 or is it the longer 130? I can't tell from here. From where I'm stood. That's cool. And uh, this is, uh, funny enough, this is what uh, me and my dad turned up in. This is my dad's recently restored 109 uh, Series 1. It's uh, an early... Uh, 1958 uh, vehicle so it's one of course in, the, in the, one of the last series ones as well but this was early 58 and this was then um, brought over from uh, Australia and um, in fact uh, originally it was in, bought off uh, Land Rover Heaven which I'm sure a lot of you will be aware of in Australia and then uh, it was bought um, from cross country vehicles I think and uh, there it is. So yeah, that's been recently restored to running a, a two and a quarter petrol with a few uh, and a five speed box. So, and it uh, sounds lovely, but yeah, it's got plenty of go in it. So, and also as well on this, well, I did a few couple of videos on this, but um, we've actually cut down the back body so it's only runs this high so it's as high as a regular sort of um if you can see it's as high there as regular 86 or 88 um body would be and we've just cut it down and it's and it's been extended across the back tub so yeah so just just something a bit different it was going to be a tray back originally but we've sort of done a half and half um i opened it yep still open and you can see inside it's had a uh, all new seats and tilt by undercover covers. You always do a good job. Why is it when I come out and decide to do this? Bloody raining now. Bit annoying. Uh, nice uh, 
four door Range Rover there, which is cool. So let's have a, another look around. So, yeah. Another vehicle there, isn't it? It's got either wolf rims or modular wheel rims on there. That could be a bit of a, a wet ride home. <laughs> Late series two. Lights in the uh, lights in the wings and the uh, Maltese cross grille. So, yeah, Very cool. Nice usable vehicle. So yeah, and, uh, So I don't know if that's a, a later year. Yeah, end a late series two. Yeah, must be a late series two. Let's have a nosy over here. Here's a, I think that one must be in for some uh, remedial work or some some work that carried out on it. So, and then you've got this here. I don't know. This is like a. This is an early, an earlyish series two by the looks of it. Let me have a look. Oh, there you go. If you can just see through the windows there, you've got the um, sort of the Bakelite uh, vent knobs on it. So it's a bit of an earlier series two. This, and again, as well, you've got that sort of the uh, early uh, valance cover that covers uh, between the wings and the, uh, the chassis rails there. And the grill panel. So I don't know if this is a running concern or this is in for work, at least from Landis. But yeah, quite cool. Good to see the early ones. And here, now I'm sure many of you will know um, of uh, Emrys Kirby. And uh, this is uh, an ongoing ongoing project one of Embrace's and this is a uh, six cylinder so uh, that he's bought recently or fairly recently and he's just been getting this back up and running so very cool so yeah six cylinder series three and uh, he's been uh, getting this running it does run now but I think he had some engine issues with it um, but it's it is getting there It'll be nice when it's done. It's got great, uh, you know, it looks generally pretty unmolested. It's got a nice patina to it as well. And then I'm sure a lot of you all know this one. This is Emrys's as well. This is a uh, KCW. And uh, a few years back now, a couple of years back now, Emrys took this over to uh, Iceland and back as well. It's got uh, the front grille there, which you see. And there's a lot of, uh, a lot of the Icelandic Land Rovers had that style grille on. And uh, as well as well, Emrys hasn't got them, but on a lot of the Icelandic ones, he had like a chrome centre hub cover, but they're not on this one. Now, I think he has got some. But yeah, KCW made the trip over to Iceland. So, and again, it's like a, a Land Rover that his parents drove to Iceland when Emrys was younger. And um, so he wanted to recreate that journey and he did it in this very Land Rover. So. And you're walking around here and here is this is Jim Gardner's um wrecker that he uh, did up in the uh in Leaf Sprung uh, Land Rover sort of uh livery which looks very cool you can't uh, can't miss this it's all genuine six wheel drive Emrys bought the Emrys sorry Jim built this up and uh yeah what a cracking motor that is and stuff. I think actually this is one of the lads that works for Jim. I think this is, I think his name's called Will, but he's got a uh, Discovery. Must be a 200 TDI, I'm guessing, but I think this is a bit of a project for him. Now a bit of a nosy around and look, there you go. There's a, another one that's in for work or at some point. And then also here, which I didn't think I'd expect to see, you can see it. this is a Santana Land Rover and uh, looking at maybe a little bit worse for wear. <laughs> so let's have a, a nosy. 
But yeah, Santana, you can tell, especially. Oh, look at that nice wooden block there. Mm. But yeah, yeah, I've never really seen one of these close up. But yeah, you can see obvious changes in the the windscreen, slightly different than the roof line, and of course the front grill. Well, yeah, that's a Santana. So, built under under license in Spain. Now this is very cool. Really early uh, 110 from uh, 1984. So really nice. It's rare as well because it's got a uh, tropical roof fitted, which generally they didn't. So it, this might have been an export, a cancelled export order at one point. Um, but it's all uh, that's how the vehicle came. It's got uh, probably one ton rims fitted as well. But uh, really nice, it's had a lot of work done to this and it's been restored really well. Beautiful looking thing. So, I'm liking that, I'm properly liking that, really nice. So that was, uh, yeah. And also as well, look, look, look at the badge. On the front there, you can see it there. It's not a sticker, that one, that's a proper, proper badge fastened on at the front, which is cool. So, but that has got to be, one of the nicest restored 110s I've seen. Absolutely lovely. And here we've got forward control. Again, this is uh, this has been here for a while, but it's I think it's going to be a customer uh, restoration. I think that looks absolutely fantastic as well. Uh, it's a real shame actually because it's going to get a respray, and I think it looks amazing like that. How cool is that? Now I can never remember. I always get it wrong if that's a 2B or a 2A because of the, the lights, um, either on the 2A, the lights are in the middle, and then uh, on the 2B, the further down, as you can see there, or it's the other way around. I can't remember because my memory is pretty rubbish. But aside from that, how freaking cool is that? That is ace. I remember when I was younger as well, these used to look absolutely gigantic, and it's still a big thing. But yeah, really liking it. Yeah, it's alright, it's fine. <laughs> so yeah, that's a good thing about when you're at a Land Rover me or at car meets, you can't get away from people. <laughs> Which is fine. So yeah, anyway, just just wanted to give you a bit of a show. This is uh, Jim's little rascal as well that he did up as a run around. Again, it's in the uh, same livery as his uh, wrecker. But I think that's pretty cool to run around in. And then I'll show you this as well because this is super fantastic looking a 107 Series 1 station wagon and this is owned by Andrew Dowker of the uh, is in Series 1 club but that is stunning lovely vehicle really well restored and is absolutely immaculate you won't really find a better Series 1 uh, 107 station wagon attention to details impeccable as well so. yeah, but you can see as you look around lots of bits of Land Rovers about so well yeah it's fantastic lots of parts it's great so and here I'm standing over here if you can see over there, over there that is another one of Emrys's projects this is project Eeyore and basically it was, um, the idea was to festival up a vehicle like the um, pre-production mules and um, when they were you know planning out how Land Rover were going to do the uh, sort of the stage two vehicles which is the, the Land Rover 110 and 19 this is a mule so Emirates has built this up on a Range Rover chassis which is what they would have used and um, say I think I can't remember now. I've got such a bad memory. I'm pretty sure this is done at 100 inches as well. Because obviously, yeah, if it's a Range Rover, it would be on the Range Rover chassis, which is 100 inch chassis. But yeah, it is uh, basically made to look like the mules that Land Rover would have uh, done their testing with and developed before they um, started introducing vehicles like the, uh, you know, Land Rover 110 and 90. So we've done a cracking job on it. And it's almost there, I think it does run. 
and we stuck it down to Gaydon um, where he had the stage two register there um, which have a, an early interest in these uh, mule vehicles and early um, 110s or uh, 90s and the, of course the stage stage one v8 so which uh emrys also has a pre-production uh stage one v8 which isn't here today but yeah it looks uh cracking doesn't it it's really cool yeah. oh yeah great looking thing absolutely brilliant and I tell you, I've seen a few shots of this in black and white, and uh, it just looks like it's out of a, a factory photograph. It's superb. So I'm going to call it. Stand back a minute. You can see this is uh, where we are. This is Lee from Landis, which is nice. Or LSF, LSL 4x4 as well as they're known. So I'll have a little peek in here. So I'm going to get a bit noisier. Uh, fire engine, ex Merseyside and West Kirby uh, fire engine, run by Richard Gosling. Incidentally, as well, that's his uh, other series too. 2A, late, late, um, well, 1969, series 2A. So, and there we've got another Land Rover Series 1, 86 inch, it's been in having some work done as well but I want to you know nice shot there's a bit, bit of a bit of a shot even though the lift's in the way but yeah we'll nip back out a minute so, and I'll show you this now this is a an early early series two this is a, a 1958 um, series uh, 2 which is owned by Peter Holden and uh, it's quite a well known vehicle as well your YOD 652 now I uh, again I might get this wrong but I'm pretty sure it's meant to have a uh, it's either meant to it's either got the wrong it's got the wrong engine in it's meant to be a two litre um, but I can't remember if it's originally had a two litre petrol or a two litre diesel but it's either way it's not got the right engine in this one but uh, yeah very cool Good to see uh, an early, the uh, early, uh, you know, Series 2s, especially one like this, because it should have had a 2 litre in, with it being a 1958. Um, you know, watch me get it wrong now, and it's actually going to be a 59, but it's, I'm pretty sure it's a 58 Series 2 originally, and it should have had a, a 2 litre engine in. I need to sort my memory out, it's terrible at times. <laughs> But yeah, so I just thought we'd do some parts for sale as well, if anyone needs any, which is cool. But yeah, um, just thought I'd give you a little bit of a tour around uh, the Series 2 Club Northwest meet at uh, Leafs Brun Landis. So um, if anyone's watching this later on, I do apologise for any of the information I may have got wrong. Um, I say my memory isn't the best always. But as you can see, it's quite a damn good turnout. So I'm going to say it's always great to see lots of people out bringing the Land Rovers and having a good uh, chin wag. So uh, there we go. Right, so that's it from me. I just wanted to do, I say a little video, it's almost 20 minutes now. But um, yeah, anyway, there you go. I hope you enjoyed this little uh, walk around and whatnot. There you go. And we'll end it there on a, on a shot of a couple of series twos. Right, so thanks for watching this. Take care and look after yourselves. Uh, if you like this content, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, uh, Andy Robinson RC, and also our Facebook and uh, Instagram accounts, also on Andy Robinson RC. And there'll be uh, more Land Rover content hopefully coming this year and uh, my usual RC content as well. Right, so uh, that's it from me. Take care of yourselves and look after yourselves and we'll see you all soon. Bye.